Tribune. This is Julie Melin with Hollywood TV at the 50th New York Film Festival at the Gala Tribute to Nicole Kidman, who is being honored for her work in films such as Cold Mountain, Nine, and Moulin Rouge. And tonight is also the premiere of her latest film, The Paperboy, directed by Lee Daniels. How do you choose your characters and why did you choose to play Roosevelt now? Well, the script was very good and uh, it was such it was such kind of a surprise to be asked. And when I read it, I thought, hey, I think I could do this. Hi everyone, this is Julia Melin with Hollywood TV and the New York Film Fest was coming to an end at the closing night gala and film premiere of Flight. This is Julia Melin for Hollywood TV and the New York premiere of Hitchcock, a film about Alfred Hitchcock's relationship with his wife Alma and how she influenced him in the making of Psycho, his most famous picture, with Scarlett Johansson, Helen Mirren and Jessica Biel. This is Julie Melin for Hollywood TV at the Cinema Society screening and the long-awaited premiere of The Twilight Saga Breaking Down Part 2, where fans from all over the world can see the final chapter of Edward and Bella's story. This time they talk about family values and protecting the ones you love, including vampires and werewolves. And how is it working with, for so many years with Kristen and Rob? And I heard you originally you had auditioned for Bella. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, it's been it's been really, really great. I think you know, you're not, <laughs> it's almost like your family. You don't choose your family, you're dealt your family, and it's the same way with movies. Um, you know, we didn't choose each other, and there's a chance that, you know, none of the cast could have gone along, but everyone just meshed so well. What are some of the challenges when you're directing the actors on the set, working with 3D technology and CG, special effects? Is it a challenge? It's a challenge to, to always orient the actors so they always know where they are, because we're working in, a, in an empty volume. There's nothing there. The the few hand props we have are made with wire, with computer points on the wire. So if you're holding a gun, you're holding a, a very light piece of wire that weighs two ounces, you know. So it's very, always very important that, that Jimmy Bell and, 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 and certainly um, Daniel Craig and Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, you know, and, and Andy Serkis, that they all knew where they were and what the environment was like. So it was a constant effort to always remind them about the environment they were working in. And how do you choose a story and you know it's going to turn into a huge box office success? I never know until it does and I'm always disappointed if it doesn't and I'm always surprised when it does and I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't make movies for that reason. Would you ever consider running for president? No, I would not. Why not? Because I, it just doesn't seem like it would be a fun job. I like my job better. I heard that the actors went skinny dipping in Italy. Is that part of the process? That is part of my process. That's exactly why we do it. After we finish the film, everyone asked, they didn't go completely naked. They were mostly clothed, but everybody jumped in the lake. That was fun. Why did you want to be the executive producer? Um, it was more of a thing of just being a part of a collaborative process with David and, and him allowing me to work with him so much in the post and, and all that kind of thing in the marketing. So uh, I was lucky enough that they gave me, they allowed me to, it basically allows you to say something without apologizing first. <laughs> many, many months preparation for the, for the building for the climb. Sense. Yeah, many months, many months. It's, it's always, you know, getting ready for a mission. It's a lot of physical uh, work and getting it ready for, for the pounding that you take making action movies. But it's, it's always a lot of fun. Hi everyone, this is Julie Melin with Hollywood TV getting ready for Halloween at the film premiere of Sinister, Ethan Hawke's new thriller where he adventures into a new genre after playing romantic roles in Before Sunset and New York I Love You. What made you want to do a thriller right now? You know, to be honest, I, I don't think like that. I, I just want to make movies with people who are really talented. But it really, that's sort of the nature of independent filmmaking too, is that you really get a chance to get to know one another, especially when you're on location, because you don't really have anywhere else to go except for hanging out with each other. So, basically, so Molly we was forced to hang out with us, <laughs> uh, which no. is our dream. Loved it. <laughs> it was great. This is Julie Melin for Hollywood TV at Fashion's Night Out with Victoria's Secret model Alessandro Ambrosio. Hi everyone, this is Julie Melin for Hollywood TV at the special screening of For a Good Time Call in New York City, sponsored by Grey Goose. This is a comedy based on real-life friends Lauren Ann Miller and Katie Ann Nalon about starting a phone sex line in order to pay the bills. Lauren stars in the film and also plays against her husband, Seth Rogen. So check it out at Hollywood TV. I have a phone sex line with my best friend. No, I'm kidding. I really don't. Uh Who do you call for a good time? <laughs> That's a good question. You're watching Hollywood TV. Thank <laughs> you.